concept of privileges you will have just purely by where you are born geographically was something that I've always been very aware of. And I think being South African, growing up in a country that was going through a lot of turmoil, it made me just always very aware of privileges that I've had in my life just purely by having the skin color that I have. And when the AIDS epidemic hit South Africa, I was around eight or 10 years old. And unfortunately, that epidemic has just always hit my country really hard. And so when I got to a place in my life where I had a little bit of a platform, I always knew that I wanted to do something that would be proactively moving. That cause of health and being your own protector and being in charge of your own health is really just something that is, I believe, a human right that we should all have. We should all have access to knowledge that can be life-saving. And that's really where CTOP really came from. So about two years ago, we were visiting our organizations in South Africa, and we were listening to young people share stories. And the conversation really changed when this one young woman stepped up. And I remember her saying, I don't want change next year. I don't want change next month. I want it today. I think there's a, there's a real passion there for young people to just not want to accept this as our world today. So our generation's job is to give young people like that girl the tools to be able to do what she was born to do. My mom used to always say when I was a little girl, it is your duty as a human being to stand up for those who can't speak for themselves. And I think we have to start looking at it that way and the importance of understanding that caring for somebody else is caring for yourself. And when you care for somebody else, all of that comes back to you twofold. This world, I don't think, can survive without that.